Hello gorgeous, how are you all? Hope you all are keeping yourself safe. Today's video is a bit different. I got influence from Too Faced Palm Spring eyeshadow palette which I got from Mecca. It has a little booklet which shows 3 to 4 types of different eyes you can create from. So today I am creating a very first eye from this booklet which is Desert Jewels. It has a such a beautiful colors and mixture of those colors look like wearing jewels on your eyes. So let's get started. As you all know, I like to wear thick face moisturizer and Mecca Cosmetica face moisturizer is one of my favorite. It keeps my foundation long lasting. I kind of enjoy wearing this moisturizer. Right now I'm so obsessed with Leno Lips Tint Balm Shade Ruhab Shape Fruit Tint. It has SPF 30 and helps create soft hydrated and pretty lips. MAC Paint Pot Shade Soft Arch is such a good eyelid primer. It helps who has bit of the redness on their eyes or having problem with creasing on eye shadows because of oily eyelids it does everything you need to enhance your eyes with colors only glitter won't work perfectly so here i'm using similar shades from tt tropicana palette it has collection of bright tropical shades in variety rich textures in purple yellow pink purple green orange and metallic tones here I'm adding yellow shade to my inner corner so glittery yellow can enhance very brightly. Then I'm using shade milk chocolate on middle of my eyelid. Both the eyeshadows are matte finished. Now it's time to put jewels on eyelids. Here I'm using Too Faced Palm Spring Eyeshadow Palette and from there I'm using Biop Shape to my outer corner to give a nice shape to my eyes. I'm blending it with lighter shade Rum Tiki. I kind of like how they name their eyeshadows. They are so different. It has soft velvety texture and plus it smells like a cocktail party in the palette. Now I'm applying shimmery shade last call on middle of my eyelid. You need to build up get right bright color. To make glittery blue winged liner, I'm using shade Swamp. It has very creamy consistency and sits so well on eyelid, but not that intense as the picture shows in. Using Inglot Kohal pencil on my waterline, I'm kind of smudging it so it's easy to blend it with eyeshadows. Now it's time to apply primer on my face which will help me to keep my foundation long lasting. Revlon Prime Plus Primer can smoothen out my fine lines and make perfect base for my makeup. Filling up the eyebrows is one of the tricky things because it has to be look like sisters but I always try to make them twins. For that, I always use Precise My Pro Pencil from Benefit Shade 6. I don't know but NYX Total Control Foundation sits so well on my face, I always get comments while wearing this foundation. 
maybe because it's very pigmented and I don't need to apply more product so less layers and give more natural look applying foundation with beauty blender helps a face to go from makeup to flawless skin because beauty blenders allow your foundation to be effectively pressed into your skin and your skin look natural Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer is super concentrate treatment concealer features a micro corrector applicator to help instantly erase dark circle fine lines and brighten up the eye area for fresh awake look In back time concealer was used to to hide dark circle cover the blemishes and add whiteness who has dark skin but nowadays it works as a face brightener Maybelline Age Rewind concealer has property to make the eye area appear radiant and refreshed in no time it infused with Gucci berry and haloxyl which will help to eliminate blood originated pigments responsible for dark circle and local inflammation. Setting up all the concealer area with Fenty Beauty Invisimate Bloating Powder which absorbs shine and diffuses the look of pores for a filter look. Finishing up my eyes by applying Bio eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I'm blending it with my brown eyeliner. Applying shade Cabana Time on my brow bone to mattifying my eyes and lift my eyebrows upwards. My all-time favorite contour stick from Sephora, shade medium, and you all know the drill. Apply it on those areas where I want to give shades. After adding the contour shade, blend the shaded area very well. This will help the color soften into the skin and look like shadows instead of painted on lines. Today I'm using liquid blush plus highlighter. L'Oreal Glow Mom MO shade Melon Dollar Baby. It's a perfect highlighter for no makeup makeup look using few drops on my cheekbones and blending it with my finger this is the first time i'm using it and i can see this product warm up with the skin and become one rather than sitting directly on top of my makeup so for me it's five stars it looks like nature on my skin time for lippy I'm using shade Spice Girl from Huda Beauty Matte and Strop Lip Set. It is an iconic 90s brownish shade and topping up with lip strop in Ritzy which is Camelon Sheer Base with gold and pink pearls. I wore false lashes off the camera. If you want a separate video how to wear false lashes, please comment below. This is my final look. I hope you like this video and found useful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video. See you all next Friday.